Hey y'all, this old pawpaw here. Tonight, my wife brought some Mongolian chicken from the mall, and I ate some of it. And I said, you know what? I bet I can make some of this right here. So here we are. I got two. I was gonna make gumbo tonight, but she come home with that. So I, this is the two chicken thighs that I was gonna use for the gumbo right here and I've got a spoonful of cornstarch, a egg white, white pepper, salt, uh, a little bit of sesame oil in that, salt in that and I've been letting it sit for about 20 minutes right there. In this a tablespoon of vinegar and uh, two tabs of wine, cooking wine Two tabs of hoisin sauce. That's why they call it Mongolian. Because it's got barbecue sauce. In it. Hot pepper. A little bit of cayenne. Teaspoon of sugar and some soy sauce. That's going to be the sauce too. That's it. Now we're going to cook it. This old pawpaw here. I'm making Mongolian chicken in the Daddy Jack skillet. In this here bowl I got some chicken thighs that I cut up. Put white pepper, sesame oil, uh, little cornstarch, an uh, egg white, and a little salt. And I've been letting that sit there and get kind of room temperature-y. So what we're going to do is kind of fry it off now. And then in a nice even layer. Yeah, boy, we stir frying tonight in the Daddy Jack skillet. New clean oil. Yeah, you know, my wife brought home some Mongolian chicken. I don't know how much she paid for it, but uh, I got to eating some of that had a pretty good taste to it but it to me I said well you know I bet I can make that and make it taste better than that and have bigger pieces and all that you know alrighty then this chicken has been cooking a good 10 minutes Maybe a half longer, I don't know. But it looks done to me. And if you're not sure of it, here's a trick you can do. I've done it too. Go on and put it in the air fryer on 400 for five minutes. If you're not sure this is cutting it. But I'm pretty sure this is good right here. It looks delicious. Smells good. It looks way better than that wound down, thank you ma'am, mall shit that I got earlier today. Alright, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take this right here and add it all back to the fried chicken frying oil. There you go. Now we are ready. Now all we got to do is pour the sauce in here. Give that a good cook a look. There's your horse in sauce. There's your uh, Mongolian sauce. Yeah, let's add this chicken back. See, yeah, I had it stained all the oil in it. Yeah. Oh boy, look at that. Now look at that. Yama. Look at that man go. With his Mongolian chicken.
Look at that man go right by. I'm going to tell you what, I believe that looks just about as good as what I ate a while ago. Mine was all hard and burnt all the hell and back tiny little pieces in that takeout stuff that she brought home that she loves. Look at these pieces. Yeah. Now, let's plate up. Give her a go plate. Let's give her a go plate. Of course the battery's going dead. Fire's off. Look at this. I'll give this a little wrench of a roof. Alright. Alright. Smelling good in here. A little bit of rice that I made. To pour over it. Just a little butter and salt. The Amish butter rice. And what's this here? Look at that. Look at that. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The Mongolian chicken. Mongolian chicken over Amish butter rice. And I helped. Yes, a risky. Now that looks a whole lot better than that that she brought home a while ago. Let's let this sit right here just like this. Mandarin Express, a la Paw Paw. Shh, don't tell no damn body. <laughs>